Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your next installment, yeah, your weekly Twin Flame check-in. Um, we're gonna be doing, I'm, I'm, I wanna do a mirror reading again. So we're gonna do a mirror reading again this time. Keeping it cool, keeping it classy, looking at the divine masculine energies and the divine feminine energies. But if you're un if you're not familiar with how my mirror reading works, stay tuned because it's really cool. But I basically developed it so that you could we could see the mirror how how the energies are interacting with each other, are flowing with each other, potentially mirroring each other, or maybe not even close to anywhere near each other. <laughs> okay, so as always, keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies. Are are fluid this reading is not dated for any specific time whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you then that's the message for you in that moment also keep in mind that this is in fact a general reading everybody all right so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't also especially in terms of the twin flame situation as always you could see you could get an idea of potentially what's going on with a specific individual external to you in the physical realm however it is 100 percent always recommended that we we view at least this reading here these readings that i do here on my channel and any other readings that you watch in terms of the Twin Flame Collective, potentially. It is always advised to look at this, or at least try to look at this as the balance or the dynamic between the masculine and feminine energies within you, because we all have them. And ultimately, this Twin Flame journey is more about finding union and inner peace with the self, which would then allow you to find union with an external being. But if you don't have that sense of union internally, then I can't help you. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm saying if you don't have that sense of balance or union internally, then um, then you're not going to find that that healthy whole union and balance with an external individual. All right. Okay. Excellent. So happy Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday. Um, yes, I do have a nice cup of coffee. And if you're not watching this on Sunday, I hope you're having a good day. Yeah. So, oh, um, before I get started, I do want to say that I did a, a, a individual divine feminine collective reading and an individual divine masculine collective reading. Those are available on my Patreon account uh, patreon.com slash divine conversations you can also find the link in the description box below um, i put those readings out yesterday they are intended for my patreon subscribers however if you feel inclined to do so if you feel inclined especially after this listening to this reading potentially to go check that out um, to become a patreon i highly recommend you do it the readings that i put out yesterday for the patreons or for my patrons were like those readings were awesome those were so, like, there is so it's such a sense of balance and harmony and union and integration of those energies within. So if you already kind of vibe with that already, especially if you've been following my channel for a while, um, then I highly recommend that maybe you get in on the Patreon, get, get in on Patreon, because um, I'm going to continue to do readings for the Patreon Collective. Um, and also I'm going to be continuing to do other special things and stuff for Patreon as well, moving forward, okay? I, I'm going through a big transition right now. I'm moving, but um, in the process of moving so that i mean it's slowly coming together but um if you feel an urge or maybe if something in this reading influences you to want to check those out i highly recommend that you do so all right okay cool so without further ado let's get started hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies of the divine masculine represented by the deck on the left and the energies of the divine ma feminine collectives uh, represented by the deck on the right. And please help us understand or see clearly what's going on within the Twin Flame Collective right now 
uh, what's happening for the divine masculine, what's happening for the divine feminine, how they're mirroring each other, how they may not be mirroring each other, how their energies are interacting with each other, how their energies may not be interacting with each other, and any other guidance and information that you have for the Twin Flame Collective at this time is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much spirit all right kids i'm going to start with um the divine masculine's deck here we're going to give this five shuffles so for the divine masculine collective you know it's interesting divine masculine i'm seeing yellow for you um but but i'm getting a specific message with that um i feel like you're working on trying to realign your life um this reading is being recorded in the midst of a pandemic and and the subsequent economic shutdown. So, and at this point, I mean, today, the day that I'm recording this is, uh, it's Sunday, April 12th. So, um, you know, we've been in this, in this shutdown, in this quarantine for some time now. And a lot of us are starting to slowly lose our minds. But what I'm getting for you, <laughs> what I'm getting for you, Divine Masculine, is that you're really trying to figure out how you can continue forward. It's like enough of all this sitting around. I want to do something. I want to take action. Mm, I don't know if right now is the best time to take action. You may not be able to take action. Um, I kind of feel like some of you are really struggling and like maybe even chomping at the bit, trying to find a way to go about your life in some sort of sense of normalcy, but like before we got into this whole economic shutdown and let, I'm, I, and it's like you're hitting a brick wall with that. And I'm here to tell you, honey, this is not the time for that. I mean, this is the time to rest, relax, sit down, shut up, and just be. The old paradigm is falling away. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not necessarily going to, it's not going to go back to how it was completely 100% before. So embrace the change, divine masculine. Spirit just said that very loud and clear. Embrace the change. Go with the flow. Allow your inner feminine to come forward and guide you with this. This is a time to be receptive. This is a time to, to sit back and allow things to happen as they will. Allow the chips to fall as they will. Allow, you know, I mean, you can't, we have no control over any of this. The only thing that we have control over is our own vibration. And what we do with that vibration, what we attract in our lives with that vibration. Do you want to attract more of the same or do you want to go with the flow and, and attract something new? But in order to attract something new, in order to be able to be open to attract something new, you have to, what? Try something new. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay. <laughs> Two more shuffles for you, Divine Masculine. Last one. Also, guys, keep in mind that as I'm speaking to Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, I'm not talking gender. I am absolutely talking energy. I am physically male, as you can probably hear from the sound of my voice and all of this like facial hair I have right here. Um, <laughs> but I identify as part of the Divine Feminine Collective, okay? So don't get it twisted, honey. I am not talking gender. All right. Divine, oops. Divine Feminine. Uh, I'm seeing pink energy for you. Um, but it's the unconditionally loving energy. I feel like, oh, give me a second here. Ah, yes, two. Okay, and now I'm seeing the purple color. Um, you're very much rooted in this higher wisdom, this higher state, this higher state of awareness. You're very much going with the flow. You're, I kind of feel like you're sitting in this kind of high priestess type of way or this high priestess energy where it's like you see everything from a higher perspective you've been seeing things from a higher perspective for a long time or you've been doing the work to get yourself to that higher perspective and now for the most part many of us are sitting up there sitting pretty just watching everything happen um it could be that you may have fallen into a, a pretty strong sense of unconditional love recently um it may have hit a new level for you 
that you may not have necessarily experienced before in your journey, Divine Feminine. I'm, I'm getting that from the pink energy. And, and it feels very much like you being up in this 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 higher echelon right this 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 higher awareness and not to say that you know you're better than anybody else it's just the fact that you've been doing the work to get yourself there i mean anybody can get there they just have to do the work that's all so it's not like you're better than anybody and i don't feel like you feel like you're better than anybody but you're sitting up in this higher awareness watching everything happen and there's a strong sense of compassion that's kind of like washing over the situation or you really and it's not a sense of it's not a type of compassion where it's like oh my god let me like dive down there and help them i see them struggling let me go help oh no 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 <laughs> oh no 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 you are very well aware that you need to stay exactly where you are because it is not going to help anybody by diving down there and 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 stooping down to that level or enabling people down in the lower vibrational realities and realms i mean you can't help them they have to be the ones you can you can help them by leading by example by shining your light by being a beacon by 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 sharing your truth being authentic being honest being who you truly are but you cannot pull them up they have got to pull themselves up out of the, situ the situation or it's not gonna and it's not even like well i did my work so you need to wow I guess that's confirmation. I should probably put my phone on vibrate. Um, <laughs> but it's not like, well, I did my work, so you got to do your work, and I'm going to sit here and be arrogant because, you know, whatever. No, it's it, it's the reason why 1111, the reason why it, 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 the individual in question needs to do their own work is because if they don't, if someone puts them to where it takes them and physically puts them where they want to go instead of them getting themselves there it's not going to last probably it's not going to be appreciated the value is not going to be understood the lessons are not going to be learned there are so many other reasons so it's really not even about diving down there and helping people it's about staying where you are shining your light being a beacon of hope and change uh, leading by example being of help or advice or something if someone should come to you if someone comes to you asking for help to find feminine by all means if it feels right for you if you feel like you could really help them if it feels like an, it's an alignment with you then by all means please help but you can't change anybody's circumstances world for them they have to change it for themselves okay and this is something that we're really starting to understand um it's something that has been a lesson for the divine feminine for some time but i really feel like divine feminine you're in this energy of seeing it so clearly now so clearly in fact that you wouldn't even want to help you wouldn't even want to dive in there and start doing things for people unless they asked you for it like if somebody asks you for for, for it i'm not saying that you're going to be like some crazy narcissistic bitch and be like no do it yourself no that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is you're not trying to interject into anybody's life period Two more shuffles for you, Divine Feminine. Last shuffle for the divine for the Divine Feminine Collective. Excellent. All right, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Divine Feminine, we are going to start with you right after this quick coffee break. <laughs> Yes, honey, I love my black coffee. Black, no sugar. Delicious. Okay, here we go, Divine Feminine. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the Six of Pentacles. I mean, damn, come on. Talk about reciprocity. Okay, balance, harmony, unconditional love, understanding. I really, Divine Feminine, I feel like you are in such a giving mode right now such a compassionate mode you're just waiting for the right time to strike you're just waiting for the right time to be of service to be of help to to and 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 for some of you it's not like you're actively trying to be of help but this six of pentacles energy i'm just feeling like this is that that compassion and that unconditional love kind of settling in in a physical it's like it, it's settling into you um but you're experiencing it differently because it's you're uh, this is hard to explain but it's like you're uh, you're seeing it settle into the physical realm now it's like that unconditional love that compassionate energy has been around you settling into your life spiritually or energetically but now it's like you're seeing it 
bleed into the physical world, into the physical realm, into things that you may not have necessarily been compassionate about or had compassion for or had some sense of under being understanding or, or, or something like that in the past. You know what I mean? But now you're seeing it differently. Underneath the Six of Pentacles ooh, is the Ten of Wands. Interesting because, okay, what I'm seeing with this now is you're recognizing the burdens that everyone else is carrying, which is making you compassionate. I feel, ooh, wow, okay, I feel like for some of you, you're having this epiphany or this aha moment where very much like uh, uh, realizing that hurt people hurt people. Like there is a reason why people act the way they do. There's a reason why things happen the way they happen. There's a reason why people react the way that they react. And it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and their life circumstances, the burdens that they're carrying. And thus, this is helping you settle, or this is either helping you settle into this compassionate, unconditionally loving and giving energy, or it's helping you understand this, uh, understand things from a more compassionate point of view. Underneath the 10 of wands, wow, the 10 of swords. And as a result of this realization, you have some major endings coming to play. A lot of the things that may have been holding you back in the past, a lot of the things that you may have really taken personally in the past, all falling away because you're seeing everything so much differently now. Underneath the Ten of Swords, it's, yes, the Knight of Cups. Here you are, Divine Feminine, moving forward with that compassionate, open, and giving heart. How beautiful is that, Divine Feminine? Ugh, I just love it. I just love it. Okay. All right, cool, Divine Feminine. So let's get into your storyline here. All right. First set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Feminine. You have beautiful stability with the Four of Wands. This might be physical stability. You might be you might be really nesting right now. I feel like some of you maybe might be uh, taking on a home improvement project, refurbishing your home, revamping your home, maybe working with um, what is that? What is that practice? Feng shui. I really do. I just get this feeling like some of you are, 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 and maybe this is something that's happened, you know, as we've gone through this quarantine, you've been in your house or your apartment or your room long enough. Like, it's like, okay, we need it. We need, we need to revamp this shit, man. <laughs> this is getting boring. Or this energy of um, compassion and understanding and unconditionally loving and giving is helping you get into this energy of just wanting to revamp, refurbish. You may even be t taking... I was going to say you might be taking on some sort of home improvement projects for others, but we're on quarantine right now. So I don't know, maybe when you come out of quarantine, maybe you'll start out, maybe you're looking to start a new home improvement business, Divine Feminine. That would be so cute. Oh my God. Yes, I love it. But I just feel like you're very stable. You're very grounded. You're very well-centered, says Spirit. Um, you have this spiritual foundation that's unshakable at this point. Like you have worked so hard to build this foundation ain't nothing gonna shake it or or, or 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 break it now you know what i mean and that is quite ideal i love that four of wands is coupled with there you go the eight of cups wow divine feminine look you're like literally and i it's so funny divine feminine because i don't even see this as you walking away from things i see this as individuals or places or circumstances walking away from you but they're walking away kind of in a, these energies are kind of, you know, dissipating in a little bit of a de dejected energy. Do you see how that person is kind of like leaning on that pole right there? Kind of looking like they need support, like they're sad, they're burdened, they're worried. Well, it's kind of like, well, shit, I'm not going to get anything from this one. So I guess I better just move on to the next. You know what I mean? And it's, you're just kind of sitting there like, oh, okay, well, bye. Like you made like, like a very much an energy, like you didn't even notice they were there. But these are vampires. These are energetic vamp vampires. These are narcissists. This is narcissism. These are toxic people, toxic circumstances. Um, this happened, this came out last week for you, Divine Feminine, um, in terms of like things just falling away. Like you're not even having to put an effort towards it. It literally is just falling away. But you know why? It's because of your vibration. 
because these are these in these sit the situation or whatever the people the circumstances the places whatever that are falling away from you right now are no longer in vibrational alignment with you and so, and thus they cannot keep up with you they cannot stay around you i mean the energies are polarizing they they don't they no longer attract they they repel right so they're falling away the people are going away whatnot whatever your life is changing but i don't think you're really all that aware of it because you are so focused on your vibration, you are so focused on your stability, your groundedness, your spirituality, your level or sense of compassion that's coming through, you don't even see all of this potentially, for you, or at least you're not concerned with it. And it's from a compassionate place that you're saying, oh, okay, well, bye, I, I, I guess I'll see you later. Because you have this understanding that every that people need to do their own work. And if there have been certain situations or certain people that have been around you that have been energetic vampires and they're now leaving your space, they're walking away, you don't, you're not, a, a, you're not sad, you're not afraid, you're not like, oh, well, I hope they're going to be, I mean, you're compassionate, you care, but ultimately you recognize that this person is moving on because they've got work to do and you're not facilitating this enablement anymore. So they're either going to go do that work or find someone else that's going to facilitate it for them. But either way, you're sending them off with love and compassion. Woo, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Feminine. We have Four of Cups. Interesting. I heard dejected. I'm getting a feeling, Divine Feminine, that this is not your energy. This is the energy of people around you. It could even be the energy of your divine counterpart in the physical realm. But I'm getting a feeling of someone here just feeling like their offer wasn't good enough, that they're not good enough. This could be you, Divine Feminine, but I don't think it is. Because at this point, you've been through this Four of Cups energy for the longest time, and it has been coming out in reverse a lot in my readings lately for the general collective. And the, the, the energy was just that you're not feeling this anymore. You're not giving in to these types of energies anymore. I really feel like this is these are other people around you, either your Divine Counterpart, like your Divine Masculine, because you're not really paying attention to him. You're not trying to accept anything from him. Especially because you're in this awareness that it's not fully authentic. If it's not fully authentic, if it's not in alignment with you, you're not taking it. But you're, it's not like you're being malicious about it. It's just like, oh, no, thank you. Oh, no, no, thank you. But thank you. I really appreciate the offer, but no, thank you. But then the Divine Masculine or whomever it is that's in this Four of Cups energy kind of internalizes that and takes it somewhat personally. But it's not personal. It's literally just that things are not in alignment. But the other thing about that, oh, right, the other thing about that is you are, you're okay. You're good. It's not like you're upset about anything. It's not like you really need anything. Why doesn't she need me anymore? You know, that's interesting that you ask that, Divine Masculine, because you were you were the one, weren't you the one that was so adamant about us not being codependent? And now the moment we aren't codependent, you're like, what the fuck? Why don't you need me anymore? But I'm sorry. I, I'm pretty sure I'm doing the exact thing you asked me to do. Well, well, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't actually think you were going to do it. Ugh. Four of Cups is coupled with <laughs> Do you see that? It's coupled with the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Look, I found happiness is what I'm hearing. I'm good. I'm okay. I don't need anything externally. I found my completion. Or at least some a part of it, at least. I, I, I'm, I'm good enough right now to be, like, really quite content. 
it's like divine feminine you are not in this four of cups energy any longer because you found a sense of the ten of cups within and i'm not trying to say that you you're like 100 percent complete you've got everything you want maybe you do but it doesn't have to be that way there's still just a level of achieving some sort of happiness here that comes from the wellspring within. It's not based on external factors and thus the external factors that once were enamored with your attention are no longer getting that attention. And it's like, what the fuck happened? Well, she found happiness within herself. That's what happened. No offense. <laughs> it's nothing personal, I promise. <laughs> Your challenge, Divine Feminine. Oof. Yikes, the Queen of Swords. Okay, some of you... Interesting. I'm getting like three different things. Some of you are needing to... Uh, some of you are needing to embody a little more of the Queen of Swords because um, you're in this very compassionate energy, very Queen of Cups. But here's the thing. Queen of Cups doesn't always have boundaries, okay? So you're needing a little more boundaries. That's why your challenge here could be the Queen of Swords. For some of you, for others of you... The challenge here is that you've been too much in the Queen of Swords energy. It's interesting. And now you're kind of needing to come out of that a little bit, balance it out a little bit, temper it. There is a pattern. Okay, so so within this compassionate energy for you, divine feminine, there is a bit of a power struggle between I will say the king, the queen of cups, and the queen of swords. But you're needing to remember your boundaries here, okay, divine feminine. That's all. I'm gonna cough. Excuse me. <clears throat> you're needing to remember your boundaries here. Queen of swords is coupled with, oof, the nine of swords. What? Okay. 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 Divine Feminine, in all of this compassion, do not let fear and anxiety get you down. I mean, you, Divine Feminine, of all of the people here, okay, of everyone that's going, of all of these individuals and all of us that are going through this challenge, this pandemic, this economic shutdown and whatnot, whatever, you of all individuals need to maintain your stability right now. You are the embodiment of receptivity. We are going through this right now, this shutdown, this slowdown, so people can learn, start to learn, start to become um, comfortable with receptivity. You can't lose your mind now, Divine Feminine. You can't fall back into twisted narcissistic divine ma or, or, or masculine energies any no you can't go back to that do not allow yourself to get caught up okay that's your challenge right now stand your ground stand firm divine feminine stay in that queen of swords energy do not let the aha uh -huh. aha uh -huh -huh. Queen of, yeah, stay in that queen of swords energy do not let the moon the illusions the fear the things that are unclear, do not let the unknown or the illusion get you down. Get in your way to disrupt your vibration. Don't do it, Divine Feminine. Okay? Stay in that Queen of Swords. Be objective. Be honest. Be authentic. And just let it ride. Yeah? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Divine Feminine. Hold on. I'm trying to give us a little more. There we go. That's better. Okay. Closing message or divine... What? Closing message or potential outcome for the divine feminine. Here we go. Oh! Three of swords. Again, divine feminine, this is not you. I don't think this is you. I'm feeling like this is the people around you. I feel like you are going to be witnessing a lot of heartbreak. I mean, we've already been witnessing a lot of heartbreak. I just get this strong sense, Divine Feminine, that you are going to be experiencing a lot of that, seeing a lot more of it. And that's also part of the reason why the Queen of Swords is here saying, don't fall into the trap. 
Don't allow yourself to be, get bogged down. Stay elevated. This is all part of the purging process. This is all part of the death process, okay, Divine Feminine? Don't let yourself get caught up in the emotions, in the Three of Swords, of in people, people dying, people losing family members. Families are breaking apart. I mean, people are going through it, but you're feeling it from a compassionate end, and you're potentially even wanting to do something, anything that you can, but don't allow yourself to get caught up. Stay firm and focused on your mission. Stay firm and focused on who you are and, and the, the, the role as a leader that you are needing to play, that you are here to play, that you have been preparing for, Divine Feminine. Okay? Three of Swords is coupled with the King of Cups. Emotional maturity. Oh my God, Divine Feminine, look at that. Stay emotionally mature, emotionally balanced. Maybe even try and keep your emotions to yourself. Keep it together. That's what I'm hearing. Keep it together, Divine Feminine. It's not that you're not keeping it together. We're just saying, we're trying to remind you here. Don't allow yourself to get caught up. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so very much. Okay, um, I, I do want to specifically point out that I, I was talking about the Queen of Cups energy, right? But the King of Cups came out. Um, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Queen of Cups. Absolutely nothing wrong. But it came out as the King of Cups because he represents being emotionally mature. Taking action in terms of what your emotions or your heart is telling you. Okay, so just stay there. And the Queen of Cups would represent unconditional love, psychic intuition, and boundaries when she's healthy, right? All right, Divine Feminine, that's beautiful. So, next, Divine Masculine. Here we go. Starting you off, DM. Overall energy, we've got... Ah. Ooh, you've got the Knight of Cups as well. So it seems that both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are really coming from this heart-centered place. And I'm going to be honest with you, Divine Masculine, this feels very pure. This feels very genuine. Like, you really just want to be there for people. You're not trying to be manipulative. You're not trying to get in on it. You're not trying to capitalize on anything. You're just like, no, like, let me help. Like, are you okay? Can, can I get you anything? You're being compassionate as well. You're learning compassion in all of this. That's beautiful. Underneath the Knight of Cups, woof, you have the Hanged Man. There's that change in perspective, Divine Masculine. But also, there is that energy of feeling stuck and stagnant and frustrated because of it. But ultimately, this is bringing you a change in perspective that is allowing you to get connected and centered in your heart space. And actually, I just heard this question for you, Divine Masculine. So I want you to ask yourself this, what is true, what truly matters to you? What is truly the most important thing in your life? That's a rhetorical question. That's a question that you take with and you go within and you be honest with yourself. Like what is really the most important? And I kind of feel like spirit is posing that, that question to you because you'll find that a lot of the things that you were placing your value on in the past, a lot of the things that you were placing your attention and time and energy and a lot of what you were investing in, into in the past is quite obsolete is really not important <clears throat> in the grand scheme of things. And that's most likely a lot of egoically based stuff. Underneath the hanged man is the three of pentacles. Beautiful. Self-mastery. Working on the self. And on it, to be honest with you, Divine Masculine, at this moment in time, in this current energetic, energetic atmosphere, you really have no other choice. Because there's nothing for else for you to do but go within. Underneath the Three of Pentacles is the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. I'm seeing a lot of communication with the self here, to be quite honest. Um, windows of opportunity are, are generating. I'm hearing for some of you, they're passing you by. But I feel like it's because you're seeing it there, but you're too afraid to shoot your shot. You know what I mean? Like you're too afraid to take it. It's not like you're you're ever going to, like, it's not like the windows of opportunity are ever going to stop coming. 
if you really want them eventually you'll but i i, I feel like <clears throat> for some of you yeah you're missing some opportunities here but it's okay just keep your eye on the prize you'll make your mark eventually but i do also feel like there is a lot uh, not only does this feel like um communications with the self but this also feels feels like um clearing the space like doing the work to clear the space so that you can make some bigger change or have the energetic space for something new or better to come into your life okay excellent divine masculine this is a good way to start okay so our set of surrounding energies here for you divine masculine we have justice Ooh -wee. all right look divine masculine look homie comeuppance is upon you baby boo because i i mean this very much is an energy of you've made your bed and now you've got to lay in it and i know we've been saying things like that to you a lot and i'm sure we're sounding like a broken record and i'm sure it's not something that you really want to hear anymore it's like when when am i going to not be dealing with all of this bullshit well quite frankly divine masculine it's when you stop putting bullshit out you get back what you you receive back what you put out in the world and so comeuppance is upon you your just rewards i mean karma is being served the, 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 this, the, this whole shutdown divine masculine is an effort to balance the scales and so whatever that means for you whatever you're dealing with right now as a result is an effect of the scales being balanced out for some of you it's pretty good for some of you it's eh, some of some of it's good some of it's not so good for some of you it's just like whatever for others of you oh it's some shit i mean it's some shit <laughs> you know but that's okay i mean at this point it's not like we're trying to pass <clears throat> judgment on you it's literally just the scales being balanced out and for some of you you're actually starting to get that you're starting to see the value in this you're starting to get that change in perspective Justice is coupled with. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, excuse me for a moment. I... Mm, mm, mm. Justice is coupled with the King of Wands. So you remember that ego you touted before? That machismo? Yeah, well, the roosters have come home to roost. All that ego you exhibited is now, there's confirmation, all that ego that you, that you spewed everywhere, yeah, he's getting knocked down a few pegs, isn't he? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Masculine, we have Seven of Cups. All right, so you're pretty confused. Some of you don't really understand some of you don't get it. Some of you are still caught up in the old paradigm and saying to yourselves, or maybe even saying to the universe, I did everything that I was instructed to do. I did everything that I was taught to do. Why am I getting, why, why is this happening? What you're missing, Divine Masculine, is the operative word here in that phrase, which is taught. You did everything you were taught to do. Basically, you lived your life from a point of indoctrination just like the rest of us no one is wrong no one is no one is beating you up for that and really no one's really trying to beat you up about anything it's just you're just being forced out of this hive mind mentality out of this patriarchal mentality out of this um indoctrination and it's confusing the hell out of you and I feel the anger starting to well up. And I'm going to be honest with you, Divine Masculine, you have every right to be pissed. You have every right to be pissed because you were sold a pipe dream. You were baited and switched. And then, but to see, the thing that kind of gets me is like, you, and this is one of, this is one of the things of human reality that, that really kind of like grinds my gears. It's like, I don't understand how people can go through traumatic events, right? Things that really hurt them, things that really break them down, experiences where people really 
treated them poorly, treated them like shit, but then turn around and recreate that situation for someone else. So in this case, it's like you were baited and switched, but you learned the whole bait and switch method and you then turned around and did it yourself. But now that it's coming back on you, you're like, well, wait a second. Why is this happening? Well, why do you think, Divine Masculine? You were putting that energy out there to begin with, right? Comeuppance is upon you. Justice with the King of Wands. And if you are unfamiliar with the cards, the King of Wands, I'll explain it again. The King of Wands is someone that is very passionate, uh, sexy, handsome, vibrant, charismatic, vivacious, but also can be extremely selfish, is an energy that is very focused on what it is that they want and is not about to let anybody stop them. And it's not about to let anybody get stand in the way. And that is really like textbook narcissism in certain situations. All of the kings and all of the queens can, can be narcissists in their own right. However, the king of wands is the king of narcissism. Or at least can be. And thus... Okay, fine. So, seven of cups then. Excuse me. Seven of Cups is coupled with the star. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a very, very, very good thing because healing is happening. Wish fulfillment is coming through. But this is also part of the confusion. It's like you don't quite understand, Divine Masculine, why things are happening right now the way they are. However, as you continue on this journey through with faith, right? Following, it's like you're, you're in this place and this is something that's probably really, really new to you. Something that you have never really done before, but you're following you. But see at this point, more confirmation at this point, you have no other choice, but to just follow the guidance that you're given because this is uncharted water. This is uncharted territory right now. So there's, it's not like there are some gurus or some business executives around you that can like really give you advice on how to handle this. You have to go within. It's confusing as all hell. I understand, Divine Masculine. I, I get it. But once you really get settled into it and once you go through enough of an experience to prove to yourself fully and, uh, and fully that you can really trust in the universe and trust in your alignment to provide you with what you need, then it won't be so confusing. It won't be so scary. But right now it is because this is new to you. Aligning with something and following with faith is, is new to you. But this is a healing aspect that you need to come to terms with. This is you working with and integrating with your own inner feminine energies. Surrendering to them, even. Wow. Okay, Divine Masculine, your challenge. Your ego. And honestly, Divine Masculine, this feels like, with the Five of Wands here, this feels like some of this, the, the, the um, indoctrination or the belief systems, those tapes playing in your head, and you're trying to, like, you're trying to handle it. You're trying to, you're trying to deal with it. They're replaying in your head and causing turmoil, causing chaos, causing unrest. But you really need to just like quiet the mind and the ego. Because the ego is not driving the ship here. I mean, we're not even driving the ship here. The universe is driving the ship. God, source, creator, the higher power that, that there is. Gaia herself, they're driving this. We're just kind of along for the ride. We're here to help, yes. But in no way are we in control of the situation, right? This was Gaia's choice. She chose to go back up. She wants to raise her vibration and move back up to the fifth dimension where she originated from. So even if you are one of those people that's still caught in this patriarchal energy saying that you're, this is your planet and it belongs to you and you can do whatever the, whatever the hell you want with it, I mean, we're all just going to sit here and laugh at you because you are this tiny little flesh suit, meat sack as opposed to a whole fucking planet. Like, who do you think you are? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's be real for a second. Five of Wands is coupled with, woo, 
Whew. The Ace of Wands. That's interesting. But you see, your challenge here, Divine Masculine, is you that you want to move. You want to go forward. You want to do something, but you can't. Mm. Also, also, big thing that I'm picking up on here. Some of you, Divine Masculine, some of you have this inspiration to try something new. But your ego... Five of Wands, or the opinions of others, what others might think, blah, 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 is kind of standing in your way. I feel like you're really having to, I, there are some of you in the Divine Masculine Collective that are really looking to break free and go in a new direction, but you're still kind of battling some of the resistance to that, and that's okay. Do not rush yourself into anything, all right? Allow yourself some time to settle in. But that's good for those of you that are resonating with that. That's really good. Closing message or potential outcome for you, divine male skillion. Ooh, 11, 11, guys. Yay. Ooh, more mirroring, y'all. The 10 of swords. And it's actually, it's 11, 11 a.m. for me. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> okay. Um, 10 of swords, divine masculine. So look, more mirroring. Closing message or potential outcome. Things are closing out. Things are coming to an end. And actually, Divine Feminine, you might be seeing this happening, not just for the rest of the world collectively, but even for your Divine Masculine, and you actually might be in a little more of a compassionate energy for him or her than you have been in the past, or maybe even in a long time. Doesn't mean you're trying to help, get, lend a helping hand, unless they ask. But you're, again, you're not trying to interject. But Divine Masculine, closing message, potential outcome, Ten of Swords, my friend. This is good. Might still be painful. But after, th this is, the Ten of Swords is completion, honey. So, things are coming to an end. And yes, for some of you, this is a pretty painful end. And it might be so painful because you've been resisting the change for so long. I'm seeing, or I'm, I'm, I'm getting the image of, like, ripping something out that has been deeply rooted for quite some time. May, may even be surrounded by a bunch of scar tissue from the moment when it was like forcibly implanted within you. I'm almost, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of seeing like an implant or like something that was, that was, that is not natural to you, to your being and was like forcibly placed within you and is now kind of being ripped out. And it's being forcefully ripped out. But that's only because the force is needed to really get it out of there. It's not because anyone's trying to be malicious or anyone's trying to really hurt you. Spirit and the divine are not trying to hurt you. They're actually trying to make this as painless as possible. But this, whatever is being removed from your life or removed from your energy field or whatnot, I mean, this shit is heavily rooted. If you were, if this were a physical surgery, Spirit is saying, you would need to be heavily sedated for this. Ten of Swords is coupled with Seven of Wands. And what I'm getting with this as your potential outcome and your closing message also, Divine Masculine, is part of why some of this is being so forceful is because, number one, yes, the force is needed to remove this, but not only remove it, keep it out. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, you have to apply a certain amount of pressure or a certain amount of force to really get all of it out of there to make sure that none of it stays intact within you so that it can't grow back seven of wands with the ten of swords ten of swords is ending the circumstances doing the surgery removing whatever it is that needs to be removed from your life the seven of wands are the boundaries that are keeping it from coming back I just noticed, Divine Feminine, you have three tens on the table. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, but also the Ten of Cups. And Divine Masculine, you've got the Ten of Swords. Where, where else is the... Oh, the Knight of Cups, right. Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. That's how the Twin Flame Collective, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine Collective, are mirroring each other right now. If you're resonating with both sides of this... 
both the divine feminine and the divine masculine aspect of this, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out my Patreon and you check out the readings that I did there for Patreon. It's only $7 a month, you guys. You get love readings, you get twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine, separate energy readings, and plus more. Like I, I just started it last month and I'm in the transitional period right now. I'm looking, I'm moving, right? So I have a lot to handle, but we're going to do so much over there. I'm so excited about it and I want it to be an interactive situation. Okay. So if you guys are feeling like you're resonating with both sides of this, if you feel like you're, you're working on the balance between masculine and feminine energy, those of you that were really vibing with the readings that I was doing in the past about getting to know your inner feminine and getting to know your inner masculine, well, honey, it looks like those things paid off because it really looks like a lot of the people within my channel or whomever I'm channeling for are really integrating this this level of balance between masculine and feminine energy. So if you feel it's, if you're feeling so inclined, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon. But either way, this is quite beautiful for both divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay. Alrighty. So let's close out the reading. Now I want to just pull some energetic guidance here, some Oracle guidance from the Oracle of the unicorns for both the divine feminine and the divine masculine. All right, so just a closing message, message of encouragement and or a little bit of extra guidance just to send you guys on your way. Yeah, one last shuffle. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine here, closing message, please, Spirit, for the Divine Feminine. Closing message for the Divine Feminine, please. Whoops. Okay, we're going to get two cards each. You have intuition and for the Divine Feminine. One last card, please, Spirit. For the Divine Feminine. Really rely on your intuition right now, Divine Feminine. Your intuition might be stronger now than it, than it has ever been. Um, I'm, 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 I'm asking, I'm being asked to, well, I'm being shown to ask you to really honor your intuition, to nurture yourself, to really start to pay attention to what it is that really feeds and strengthens and, um, fortifies and it, it, your intuition. Take good care of yourself. Start to pay attention. Start, start to really nurture what, what it is your intuition needs to thrive. But then on top of that, also make sure that you pay attention to your intuition and you honor your intuition. You may be going through experiences right now that really start to throw in your face just how much you need to be honoring your intuition, just how much your intuition has been on point all along. And this has more to, this is more than just with the twin flame. I mean, like this is like an overarching life thing and I'm going through that myself right now. Like I just, I just had some experiences yesterday where I learned about some things and it's like, it only validated what I was feeling. Like uh, there are some, there are some things, some circumstances that are resurfacing, coming back around full circle in my life right now from years ago. I mean like 2007, 2008, 2008, really 2007, 2008. Okay. Whatever. But now it's coming back full circle and having dealt with and gone through all the things that I've gone through, it's showing me right now that I actually could have trusted my intuition all along. Like my intuition was on point all along. But it was the indoctrination that kept me at bay, that kept me from believing in it, that kept me from trusting myself. And that can be a hard thing. To, <laughs> that can be a hard pill to swallow. All right. So trust your intuition, Divine Feminine. One last card for the Divine Feminine Collective, please. Guidance for the Divine Thirdus. Discernment. Yikes. See, but this is why your intuition is coming forward here. Trust me, says your intuition, because I'm here to help you. But with that level of understanding that you can trust your intuition or strengthening of your intuition, it's going to allow you to be more discerning. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Here's the thing, Divine Feminine. Um, we're not trying to say that anything bad is coming around you, but you are, especially in the, being in this energy of wanting to be helpful, your discernment and your intuition are key right now. 
okay? Because this could, with you exhibiting, exuding this unconditionally loving, nurturing, wanting to help energy, recipro uh, reciprocal energy, that could be a beacon for some vampires to come around, sniffing around, and be like, hey, what you got, what you got? And nothing for you, actually, <laughs> is how that one goes, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Anger. Whoa! Yikes! Okay, whoa, okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, Divine Masculine. It's gonna be okay, I promise. But you know what? This anger that's coming up here is... Honey, I told you, you have every right to be angry. <laughs> you have every right to be angry, Divine Masculine, because yes, you have been duped. Just like the rest of us. And those of you that were on, were on the duping committee, that's right, I'm talking to you, the duping committee, now you're getting duped and you're like, whoa, wait a second. Yeah, you see, it's different when that energy is turned around on you, isn't it, Divine Masculine? So yeah, sure. Be angry. But use that anger wisely. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. That's right, Divine Masculine. You do have emotions. Why? Because you are a living, breathing human being just like the rest of us. Embrace them. But what I'm getting with this also, Divine Masculine, is use this anger as fuel to propel you forward. Don't, don't go trying to, you know, bust open some heads or some shit like that. No, 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 no. Redirect that energy. Channel that energy into what is new for you what is next for you yes okay one last card for the divine masculine please oh there it is gentleness oh be kind to yourself and others honor your gentleness speak words of love so 55 55 on the counter yes so okay divine masculine you be gentle with yourself Okay, be loving with yourself. Allow your inner feminine to really come forward and nurture you. I mean, look, you have every right to be angry, Divine Masculine. You do. You really do. But you have also have every right to be cared for and loved. And you are. But there are some things you've got to clean up for yourself. So the Divine Feminine is here, energetically. Spirit is here to, to, to swaddle you up. And make sure that you're okay. And make sure that you know that you're loved. Be kind to yourself in this time. Don't. Please, please, Divine Masculine, do not beat yourself up. It's not worth it, honey. We all came down here. We all, are partici we all participated in this. Okay? In some way or another. Whether you find yourself on the other end of it or you find yourself still in it. Whether you're looking at your Divine Feminine counterpart like she's so high and mighty, how come, like, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Because she played the game too. She may not have, be, she may not have been as deeply entrenched as you might be. Might still be. But she played the game too, honey. Alright? So please... Do not beat yourself up about this. Be gentle with yourself. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a look into your own personal situation, like, and get your own, like, mirror reading or whatnot, I, I am open to it. Yes? Um, just all the information is in the description box below. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ah, oh, and then look, there is a message for the collective here. Patience. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to plug Patreon one more time because in the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine readings, I did them separately, patience came out for both of them. So this is overall a collective message. Just be patient. I'm hearing time is of the essence. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely next week. Yeah? Take care. Bye.